we're going to do another round of our famous fire pitches. Now, who's seen any one of these before? Like, if you can, you know, we'll show our hands. Oh, awesome. We've got some fans in the front there. That's a beautiful thing. Anyone here who wants to do it next year? Oh, we got some extra people in the hands. Then. Excellent. So if you want to try doing this next year, it's actually a pretty rigorous application process. Uh, but if you go to startupgrind.com slash startup, you can apply and join uh, a highly selective crew of incredible, incredible companies that you're about to hear from today. Um, these guys are up here giving their hearts to this thing. And it's a little nerve-wracking to be in front of all these people. So please give them a few minutes of your attention. And we're going to jump right into it. So tell us what you're working on. So happy Valentine's Day, everyone. My name is Mohammed from RoboGarden, Inc. RoboGarden is an online platform that digitizes and teaches Steam content based on coding concepts. And uh, the platform is designed having in mind non-technological educators to help them to get involved in the teaching process. The company has been operating for 18 months, went through a successful fundraising process, in 2016, and we have achieved 300 hours of content. The platform is available in six languages. We built sales channels in more than 20 countries, and we are here looking for strategic partners to help us through our growth uh, stage. To learn more, please find us or visit robogarden.ca. CA is not California. We are Canadians. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Cheers. Give us a hand. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Hi guys, my name is Alex. I'm the co-founder of Merku, and we're also Canadian. Uh, we're a Canadian hardware company, and um, last month we actually finalized a contract for our Wi-Fi devices to ship about five million uh, to a large China telco over the next two years. Our tech founders uh, ran the BlackBerry uh, antenna division, uh, and both of them have about 450 patents in this field. We took all that cellular technology and embedded it into our Wi-Fi technology, and uh, traditional Wi-Fi failed because of barriers such as concrete walls or large spaces, and that's where we excel as an as a enterprise. Uh, we're also adapting our Wi-Fi to have sensors, have big data integration for IoT compatibility going forward. We're here at Startup Grind to hire. We're here to hire marketing and salespeople, as well as to find strategic uh, investors and partners to help us distribute, grow through retailers and also telcos. So if these guys join your team, what kind of culture are they going to enter here? Pretty fun culture. I mean, being Canadian, there's a lot of a lot of beer and a lot of partying, right? So, <laughs> sounds awesome. Thanks a lot. Cool. What are you working on? Hmm? What are you working on? Uh, so I'm gonna give you like a really awesome pitch that's probably gonna make you laugh. Let's hear it. No <laughs> All pressure. Right. All right. Who here is single as hell and tired of swiping right on Tinder? I am. What if I told you that with this genetic cheek swab, I could tell you who you'd be attracted to and who's going to be attracted to you? Wow. <laughs> so I'm a geneticist, and there are 11 genes that can tell you who you are attracted to. They can literally predict that. So Faramore is a new dating app that will take the guessing out of dating and tell you when you're wasting your time on your first date. But DNA isn't everything, right? Like we have lived experiences and we have personalities. So we also data mine your social media to match you on common interests. We have created this algorithm because there's 50 million online dating users and only 2% are happy with the current dating platform. And so we're using real science to eliminate bad first dates. We're launching at the end of this month. So we already have thousands of users sequenced and registered for our app. We are at Startup Grind because we want to add creative people to our team, people who understand product, people who want to come into a diverse company. We're a female-led, minority-led company, and we hope you swipe right on Barrymore by coming to our booth. Um, it's out there today. That is amazing. Give these guys a hand. So good. Thanks a lot. What are you working on? So um, I'm a co-founder of One Dream Foundation, and we started uh, One Dream Foundation because Back uh, a few years back in Africa, my young sister carrying her baby on her back, we were walking to the hospital. She didn't make it to the hospital because the baby died on her back before she could, because of distance. And so we started thinking of building a hospital which would be more closer and uh, practical to people. To do that, we developed an app that plays music from around the world. The app goes for $1.99 you get to enjoy music forever. We get the $1.99 and we buy a brick towards the building. And now the building has transitioned. We're building a smart village, actually. So it's beyond the hospital. 
It's uh, in Zambia. Uh, we worked with Apple, Google, and Amazon. You download your app one time, $1.99. You share with your contacts. We buy the brick. So every download is a donation towards the hospital. And so today we are looking for if everybody here could download this app, Lube Radio Mix, L-U-B-W-E, one time, and share with your contacts. Let's make this app go viral. Why not? <laughs> Thank awesome. Thanks a lot. What are you working on? Um, hi, my name is Hans, and I actually have another terrible story to, to share. Perfect timing, Valentine's Day. Yeah, um, um, uh, uh, a couple of blocks from where I live, there's a school, and a fifth grader took a gun and took the life of two of his own classmates. Uh, the whole thing was uh, shot inside the video of the school, and the police found out uh, days later that the kid had even taken pictures of himself with a gun saying, hey, I'm going to be doing this. So we asked ourselves, is there some, uh, some, uh, something that we can do to prevent this? Uh, so that's no more. Nomori does threat detection. We analyze real-time video feeds, store recordings, as well as social media posts to determine if an identity, a person, or an object has become a threat. We've been operational since last year, and we are already in, in the positive numbers, and we have uh, federal and state governments as customers, as well as a, as well as a very large financial corporation. Uh, we are here to look for VCs and other partners that can help us take uh, our solution globally. Yeah, thanks for doing this. Cheers. Howdy. Hi everyone, my name is John Boss. I'm the co-founder of Spark DJ. We use artificial intelligence to replicate the experience of a live DJ. So we cater to venues, event planners, and party throwers to provide a solution between hiring an expensive DJ and having to build your own playlist, the party that everyone deals with. I've been a DJ for eight years myself, and we've done three core elements to our product. So one is crowd interaction, so everyone can put song requests in and vote on the music. The second piece is that it actually seamlessly transitions music and blends like a live DJ. And then the third piece, which is really cool, we use an AI feedback engine to read the crowd based on the feedback we're getting. Uh, we're a Techstars back company. We have a consumer app in the App Store, and we have a pilot with 10 businesses. Uh, we're really looking for connections in casinos, bars, and club spaces. So if any of you guys have that experience or just want to chat, we have a booth out there today. Thank you. Sweet. One last thing. What is your DJ name? My ne DJ name is Gavin Boss. Awesome. Look him up, man. Cheers. Hey, last but not least, right? Uh, so I'm Chris, and I represent Sensimal. Uh, we build a toolkit that allows developers of smart IoT sensors to go from raw data that their devices generate to real insight and be able to do that on the chip. Now, let me give you an example. You, some of you might have noticed that uh, my CTO, Chris Norowski, and I had swapped here at the last minute. Well, he's been down there busily working on an application to read brain waves in this room. And we've got an insight from all that raw data from this collective group. Uh, the insight that I've got is people are tired of listening to people on stage, like myself, and they're most interested on in getting into the lunch line before it becomes half hour long, right? Wow. Am I right? Wow. That's Magic. That, that's what we do. So while you're in that long lunch line, uh, be reminded that the sensible booth is right there. As you're standing in line, it's in that main tent. Come by, see what we actually do, and we'd love to give you a demo. Thank you. Oracle-level stuff. Guys, give these guys a hand. This is not easy to be up here. Thank you a lot.